So number one, gratitude journaling. Whatever we appreciate, appreciates. And whatever we think about and think about, we bring about. So I encourage you tonight before bed, write down 10 things that you're grateful for. Number two, practice self-love. Look in the mirror, look at yourself in the eyes and say, thank you, I love you. Thank you, I love you. Say in your head all day long, I love myself, I love myself. Number three, practice loving others. There's two things we can do throughout the day. We could go through our day and we could infect people, meaning we could complain, we could gossip, we could just avoid uh, contact in the streets, conversation, avoid, con that's infecting people, that's being in a negative vibration. Or we could affect people, affect them in a positive way. When you're walking your dog, say good morning to somebody. Get rid of toxic relationships, whether it is a boyfriend, a girlfriend, uh, whether it is a friend, somebody who's not serving your greatest future. And here's how you know if somebody is good for you or bad for you. When you're done having a conversation with them, do you feel charged up? Do you feel inspired? Do you feel ready to go crush the day? Or do you feel drained? When you start to change, you become a threat to all of those people in your life who do not change. Number five, turn off the news. Turn off mainstream media, CNN, constant negative news. It's not just CNN though, it's all of the mainstream media. It's the mainstream media, the mainstream news is the enemy of humanity. They're gonna put you in fear. And the worst thing to do is to watch the news right before bed because your subconscious mind is very impressionable right before bed that's gonna put you in a fearful state. I want you to be in a loving state. I want you to be in an abundant state. The interesting thing about faith and fear is that they both demand for you to believe in something that you cannot see. I encourage you, Keto Camper, to choose faith.